What's up, my boss, babe, y'all? Back with another video, okay? And a huge disclaimer, before we even get this video started, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. I've been off YouTube for a while, and so I just want to, my new subscribers that are coming on here, I want you guys to know that this unk is an old belief of mine. I don't believe in it anymore. The God that I serve is the one and only true living God. It's not a Egyptian God. It's not a false god is the one and only true living god the one who created the heavens and the earth and his name is yahweh okay and his son that died for us name is yahweh shai that's just my disclaimer for this video because i know some people might be confused by my unk and might think oh does she believe in spirituality alchemy witchcraft whatever i don't believe in none of it you know a lot of a lot of the time i have been attacked by it a lot of the times I've been attacked by people who wear unks and who believe in Egyptian ideologies and all of these things. And these people, they say, you know, that they're positive. They say positivity, kundalini, whatever they believe in. They say this chakras and all this and all that. But these people that believe in this unk are here. What I used to believe in, and really I didn't even believe in it. I just thought it was a positive symbol. It was brought to me by my mom and I read the book and it said that it stands for eternal life but in the womb and how the woman recreates life and things like that but what we have to understand is god made woman for her to be able to create woman didn't make herself you know and at the end of the day god is the only way to have eternal life yahweh shai the one who died for our sins who y'all call jesus or yeshua he is the only way to be saved. He is the only way to be um, a, a, a positive and have an eternal life. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind, y'all. Learn from me. Learn from my mistakes. I don't believe in this unk. I don't worship Egyptian gods, goddesses. I don't think I'm a god. There's only one true God. God said we are gods and we die as mortals. And that's because we were meant to live forever. But when Adam and Eve chose to bite from the tree, we lost we lost our we lost our powers. And that's why we have this flesh. And this flesh is what makes us human. This flesh is what takes the God nature away from us. Okay? So we're not gods. There's only one true living God. And I'm not judging anybody who believes in it because like I said I had the unk on me I don't believe in it anymore I got it when I was 18 years old and you see why God he also speaks about not inking up your body so and it's for stuff like this like we don't when you don't know when you're young you know you make decisions and you make mistakes and you really just don't really know everything and sometimes people try to mislead you on purpose and when you find out the truth of the situation you have a permanent mark on your body you know what i'm saying so just keep that in mind y'all like just go to god god if you want that man if you want your man to get it right if you want your woman to get it right you want your relationship to work out you want finances god says seek ye first the kingdom of god and all things will be added unto you so you have to seek god first whatever for whatever you want in life if you don't seek god first you're not gonna you're not gonna get it and if you do get it it's not gonna be from god there's people out here that are blessed but it's not from God. They might have cars. They might have a lot of money. They might have a lot of clothes, but it's not from God. It's not a reward from God because these people that have all of these things are evil in nature. They're jealous hearted people. They hate on other people when they feel like they look better than them or they hate on other people when they feel like they have more than them or when they feel like they have their lives together when nobody truly has their life 100 percent together everybody goes through things you know and a lot of these narcissistic people who say they're spiritual and say they're positive they will try to attack a true child of god that follows the commandments that listens to what god says that doesn't be out here in the world doing worldly things they will attack you but they say they're positive, though. They say they're positive. There's nothing positive about doing witchcraft on someone to destroy their marriage. There's nothing positive about doing witchcraft to block somebody's finances. There's nothing positive about that. There's nothing positive about that. And that's why God says we can only be saved through Yahweh Shai. We can only be saved through the Messiah, the one who died for our sins. Because God knows that our hearts have wicked tendencies. 
he knows. Sometimes we'll have thoughts thinking about stealing something or thinking about doing something from the past. Maybe if you did drugs, maybe you're thinking about going back to doing drugs or whatever your situation is. Whatever God delivered you from, sometimes we have those thoughts that we want to go back to that. Maybe you had an addiction to cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you meet struggling eating ice not it's not good it's not good any addiction is not good because god looks at it like idolization he looks at it like you're placing that thing above him you know what i'm saying especially if that thing is destroying you if that thing is destroying you then it's not of god and it's not meant to be in your life and sometimes that's why we have to go to god because he can help us with everything before now i don't eat ice as much but before i used all day all day every day all day eating 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 that was a spirit inside of me a spirit inside of me and it, and it was causing me to want to eat it and sometimes spirits can come in the form of parasites worms smoke you won't even know what's entering inside of you you know what i'm saying the foods that we eat that's why we have to eat we can't that's why the bible talks about pork we can't even eat pork because pork pork pigs don't have sweat glands so everything that they're eating is festering in their body they have no way to cleanse their body you guys know how we poop and we sweat we sweat when you sweat you're getting out you're getting you're sweating out toxins you're sweating out things that are not meant to be inside of your body and so pigs don't have that so all of that stuff is festering in their spirit and in their body and in the bible god yahweh had casted the demons inside of the pigs so which are parasites parasites are demons yes they are you know so we have to be careful about what we consume in our mind our bodies we have to be careful with, with who we keep around us because a lot of these people that say they're believing spirituality, they're practicing witchcraft and they're attacking people and they're saying, oh yeah, let's get this sage. It's going to clear out all these bad spirits. But the truth of the reality is the only one who can, who can cast out a demon is God, <laughs> the father, the son. That's it. Yahawashai was casting out demons out of people. It was it was this one story of this lady. She was crippled all her life. And Yahawashai prayed over her. And she, she wasn't crippled anymore. You know what I'm saying? God's people have powers to heal. And it also says that in the Bible, when you are a child of God, nothing can harm you. Poison can't harm you. You know, there's people out here that will get witchcraft and they will put stuff in your food to try to make you lust after them or just try to make you sick or whatever the case is. And God said that can't even harm you. The only way to be fully protected is if you put God first. Okay? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all things will be added unto you. Okay? That's the only way to be fully positive. You know, all that crystals, it can it's not, it's not. Because these same people that wear these crystals, they will be jealous hearted people. They will be wanting what somebody else got. Want your man, want her man. He want your girl, he want your money, he want your car. And the Bible also speaks of coveting, not coveting after what someone wants. I mean, not coveting after someone else's possession. We have to want what is ours and if we if we looking at somebody and we like what they get go get it but go get it for yourself don't try to steal what some what belongs to somebody don't be hating on nobody don't be wishing bad on nobody you know what i'm saying because that's not how that's not gonna bless you you know what i'm saying how you get blessed is by blessing others being a blessing to others wishing the best for your brother your fellow brother and sister not hating on them not talking about them you know what i'm saying that's that's not positive there's nothing positive about that but i just wanted you guys to know that so you guys won't be confused of anything and i love you boss babes just be careful about people who believe in the spirituality sage crystals um be aware those people i'm not judging i'm not judging i'm just saying that um those people will be the ones to attack you i don't care how nice they be it's like positivity positivity ain't nothing positive about them folks you piss them off at the right moment they're gonna do a spell on you and that's just simple as that so i love you boss babes y'all 
Stay bossed up.